tremendous event in the South Indian community. It's going to come in my staff, Solana Johnson and Valerie Tom, and my colleagues, Evie, as well as the Newly Grove family, for putting together such a wonderful, wonderful event this weekend. And also on um, Saturday, as well as Pastor McCurse mentioned, several of us, I think it was about 10 of us, attended the Links event on um, this past week. Councilmember Green, as well as Councilmember Bradford, had the honor to escort us the lovely honorees on this past week. And I just want to congratulate uh, Cindy Clifford, which we all know, who was one of the honorees on this week. Uh, a beautiful, beautiful event. And it was well attended. that opportunity to share a great day. And as well, I just want to thank the South Union CDC for their uh, wonderful honor on this past Saturday night. Thank Dr. Bernard Harris, many of you know, as well as our director Mario Diaz and his wife for participating and being an honorary chair for the Power Generation STEM Gala on Saturday. It was a wonderful event. It's a busy weekend in District D this weekend. Of course, I always have to thank my staff because I do believe that they, uh, they do a, a lot of good work of partnering and doing great things in the district. There are several events that are taking place in District D this week. Keep Houston Beautiful, Great American Cleanup, National Day of Action. Uh, we will be 8 a.m. at Herman Park in Surfacey, planting a tree. 9 a.m., the Museum of Natural Science Earth Day Celebration. Again, 8 a.m. Uh, will be a kickoff of the Museum Park Super Neighborhood Cleanup in the Museum uh, District area. As well as 8 a.m. will be the kickoff of the ProVision Campus Beautification Day at 4590 Mountain. Many of you know that ProVision is an all-male school in District D whose mission is to inspire hope and purpose among the young men that attend their school. They address the needs of young men who are underserved by society and are at risk of dropping out of school. 90% of ProVision middle school graduates go on to receive high school diplomas and after graduation, 97% are employed. Pursuing advanced degrees, attending a trade school, or serving in the military. So congratulations to Pro ProVision for instilling the lives of the young men uh, that are in the community. Also, on this coming Saturday, St. John's, we have the St. John Missionary Baptist Church is hosting their women's conference, and I will be participating in that event as well. I just want to thank Mama Dees, as well as the Blue Bank and the Miracle Land Church, Pastor Allen, as well as my staff in my office. We will have a Children's Day of activities, food giveaway that is free to the public. So come out to the Children's Day out at Miracle Land Church at 7427 Martin Luther King at Van Fleet. 7427 Martin Luther King at Van Fleet for a Children's Day out. This coming Saturday, and the council member of uh, Green's District, West Barrow High School is hosting its 14th annual scholarship gala. I will be participating in that gala on this coming Saturday. Sunday, April 29, 2012, the Texas State A. Philip Randolph Institute is hosting their annual convention this weekend. On next Tuesday, May 1st, I will be presenting a proclamation to the Sterling High School Aviation Program. Many of you know that Sterling is located in District G, and they have several students who have already passed their uh, pilot's test. Mm -hmm. So I look forward to celebrating with them on next Tuesday. The Aviation Magnet Program was started in the late 1960s. It is the only one of its kind in Texas, and one of the few in the country. The Sterling Aviation Sciences Magnet Program is a unique program that prepares students <coughs> for careers in aviation. Currently, the program's main focus is training students to become pilots. Students have the potential to earn a private pilot's license by the age of 17. And I know that three students have already uh, taken the test and passed. Oh, five students. Five students who have completed their solo flights will be honored next week. One student has been given his pilot's license. It's two now. And also, um, many of you know that in the last couple of months, that two of my staff, our staff members, uh, have departed District D. And uh, I've been here five years to have staff members leave. But I told them in my last term, so it's time to get out there and uh, look for a great job opportunities. So uh, yesterday was my staff with Tyler Eve's last day uh, for working in our office, and uh, he'll be starting his new job next week at Neighborhood Centers. And uh, many of you know that Jaron Raymond went on to communications manager at Medicine Clinic. So I just want to.